Here we you are. You have arrived. We've arrived. Yay. That's what greets you at the moment with the 30th. Last time it was all uh, done up for Christmas, we were here. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here's the castle reveal. Coffee, just got ready, just tidied the uh, beautiful Airbnb up. I must say I'm impressed with that Nespresso machine. I've had four of those in the last 24 hours. It's been looking at one hour to replace our coffee machine because I've stopped having coffee, um, which has actually improved my stomach thousandfold. Yeah. Even though I've been having decaps. So we've had a lovely couple of nights stay here. Um, we're just waiting on the host to come and um, sort of check us out, hand over the keys, etc. And then we're heading to Chesse. Are we? No. Yeah. Are we? Oh, there oh, you go then. Montevain. What? There's another Airbnb we're staying now in Montevain, which, yeah. which is just around the corner from Valley Europe on the outer rim of the ring road that goes around Disneyland Paris. Paris. So we're stopping near Disneyland Paris. We can't actually check in until 6 pm. We didn't actually realise that when we booked it. We're going to kind of sort of realise that yesterday. We can't check in until 6 pm. Gets great reviews though. We're there for three nights. Uh, so later on today, we're hoping to get into Disneyland Paris. Uh, and then full day at Disneyland Paris tomorrow and Walt Disney Studios and what have you. So um, there we go. Another quick look at the balcony where I had a coffee this morning. It's beautiful. It's been raining all night long again. But it's set to be 23 degrees today and nice and warm. So it should be nice going into Disneyland Paris. We just checked out, handed the keys over to the lovely couple that ran the Airbnb. I'll put details in below of the Airbnb link. It's a beautiful Airbnb and such a lovely area. And I think it took us nine minutes yesterday to walk to the Moet um, Cellars. And then we just made our way up that street, trying champagne after champagne. So it's a great spot if you fancy doing that. I'm just programming the car for- Nick's um, programming the car for Disneyland Paris. It's about one hour, 15 minutes to Disneyland Paris from here. Exactly one hour, 15. There you go. Colour? Yeah. Well, from last time? Yeah. Yeah, it is actually. Must have done it for the 30th. Maybe. Here we you are. You have arrived. We've arrived! Yay! And you'll pass for our parking. So the prices for cars at the moment is 30 euros, as you can see there. 25 for a motorbike. So it is a Sunday, so I imagine it's going to be busy. We are expecting it. I mean, every, every single experience that we've had, has been really busy on a weekend yeah. and we have avoided it, but today's like a free day, so it's like a bonus check day in. for us today. Yeah, we can't check in till six, so we might as well just go in and have a bimble. I want some Disney snacks, I'm hungry. I'm interested to see how the car parks changed because they were still installing the yeah. uh, solar panel roofs, weren't they? Yeah. Both sides. Well, it looks like they finished this one, although it's not fully open. There's a lot of camper vans on that side, low. Well, they always were, wasn't yeah. they? But on this side here, these none of these, um, these solar panel things are here. Look at that. 
all brand new. Well, the good ah, thing is none of them that? are in use. Oh, the wasp. Uh, uh, wasp, where the frig did that come from? Get out. The last time we were here, this was all open air, and uh, now it's all got, got the roof. Um, it doesn't look too bad. It's, uh, we're almost down at right by the, the yeah. end. I mean, we could go on here if you like. Right, we're on Cruella 22. Don't forget, Nate. Don't forget to look at it every day. So the last time we came here, it was November. Very cold and Christmassy, which is what makes this, um, this park so special, because you don't really get that in Florida, because it's always warm, apart from January's, of course. Um, but um, there's going to be no food bowls this time, but at least this time we're going to get to see the 30th stuff. The 30th celebration. This video is sponsored by Speakly. Speakly is an amazing language learning app that lets you learn languages five times faster than you normally would. It uses methods such as speaking, writing and listening to music so it never gets boring. I've been using the Speakly app for 30 minutes a day for our upcoming trip to France and I'm looking forward to saying something in French when I get there. Bonjour! It's great because you're learning actual phrases rather than things that you would read in a dictionary so it's going to be useful by learning the things that you're going to be asking for. So, can I have a beer please? Pour je vois un beer. The Speakly app is available on Android and iPhone and you will get a 7 day free trial. See the link in the video below. Plus you'll get an extra 60% off if you subscribe to one of their annual subscription plans. Now back to the video. Right, we've gone through security, so we're going to go into World of Disney just to check out the 30th merch, see what it looks like. It does feel like Disney, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it is Disney. Yeah, but you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like... It, it's like Florida, but but not. It doesn't feel like any other theme park. Like, if what? you go to Alton Towers, I mean, no. you know when you're at Disney. It feels like Disney. Yeah. The 30th Disneyland Paris um, hand gel thing that gives oh, you so the it's Mickey. Not, I thought it was a, a cooling bottle. No, it doesn't that gives you the oh, Mickey. Yeah, um, like you can soap. put your, um, yeah. your Bath and Body Works soap in it, can't you? Great fruit scent, this one. And it's only 15 euros, plus That's, annual pass discount. That is actually cheap. Yeah. I always find things quite reasonable here. Which, like 15 like euros for that. You know the one in uh, Florida was like $30. Yeah, but it won't... What is it? This is not priced. Well, it's at least free. it's free. At least they're consistent with Florida, not pricing things. Yeah, so this is all obviously the thirtieth stuff. I like that. It looks like Mini. one of those um, things that you used to put on PlayStation on those yeah, pads well, and you yeah. jump into game, yeah, like Disney Infinity. Yeah, that's it. How much? Uh, Twenty-two euros. What's this? Like a placemat? Oh, it's doing the eyes in. Three D placemat. It's a holographic placemat. Yeah. Popcorn buckets. Yeah. They're colouring some sugar and kids will just go for it. Donut ears. I think if Lisa were here, Lisa would have them, wouldn't she? Maybe. Well, Definitely. I'll send her a picture. She, she was here a few weeks back, so she probably saw them. So there's different uh, coloured designs. Uh, obviously the blue one we just showed you, and here's a grey one. Quite like this bum bag, actually. Our oh, fanny pack. 25 euros. Yeah, the fanny. Yeah, and a nice um, backpack there as well. 45 euros. And then a golden black range. iPhone, is it iPhone? Big glitz, because it's iPhone. Quite like this, actually. Like that. Oh, oh, actually, I do. 50 euros. And it would match the colours in the lodge and all. Disney Pride collection. Some ears. Little lounge fly bag. I like those ears actually. Uh, what else we got? What's these? I know, I've just seen it. What's these? Like wrist, wrist things. Towel. Some key rings. And a big um, mug. Believe, was it? Belong, believe, be proud. And it's in English, not French. Well, yeah, that's true. Unless English, it's French, not French on the other side. No. You know the and sign on the shelves at the back of the sofa in the lodge? The and sign. It's like an and. Oh, yeah, yeah. And for sand, whatever yeah, you want yeah. to call it. That would replace it. Ooh, yeah, but would it fit? That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Talks about with perfect height. If not, I'll just chop his ear off. 59 euros, not bad. Plus, only... plus annual pass discount. Yeah, so, well, that's put down in mind now because I don't know what that gap is. If not, I'm sure we could find somewhere for it. Where? On the um, cabinet as you come in, so the lodge on the left hand side. Maybe. I don't like this one though because it's got bits of it's like it's obviously got copper because there's lots of um, green in there. 
and there's Minnie as well. Yeah, she's got no green on her, but I don't want Minnie. I'm not going to lie, I could eat one of them. Four euros. I'd have the sugar bomb. Oh no, that's too big. You've had one of them before. And? So we need to try something different this time. I won't finish it with you. Like the one with nuts on. So we're just saying we've never been to Planet Hollywood and now they've released the news that it's actually closing we would kind of might do that Might do that. We've but been we've to Planet got... Hollywood in Florida but not yeah. here. We've got three nights. I definitely want to try Nets this time. And Planet um, Hollywood, I think it's a good idea that Planet Hollywood. Yeah, Planet Hollywood and Nets and then uh, Vapianos. So King Ludwig's where we ate last time with Lisa and had that big chicken. Nick keeps saying let's have a look around the village, see what's changed since last time but I, I don't think anything's changed yet. Well that's something that's changed is them big mega ice creams there. They didn't have them last time and all the food bills were here last time for Christmas. Yeah it was a Christmas one so yeah. So what is that ice cream because I want it. It's, a, it's an ornament that one. Yeah I know that. It's an ornament. Lee put his foot down and said I couldn't have one. <laughs> no, so we're going to this... One, we'll have one for dessert. We're yeah. You know for a fact when we go here we won't want ice cream afterwards. Sports bar and just share a pizza or share something. a pizza and I want a beer so we're going to sit outside again because the weather is really nice and warm but I do like the inside of this sports bar never sat in it though no we never sat inside but we always sat outside we always sat outside, outside. When we with David and his family and with Mark and Hannah didn't we yeah. we just sat down and the uh, waiter basically sat us on the table and Lee just went bonjour I meant to say mercy <laughs> so you need to get back on your app and get to uh, learning a bit more French which we'll explain a little bit more about the app later on in these series Cathy Olay from me with um, some Disneyland Paris 30th um, sugar, not that I take it. You had to ask for a large coffee, didn't you? Well, so yeah, in France still when not you very get a large. coffee. It's in quite small. In France when you get a coffee. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Merci. It's a bonjour. No, I said merci. <laughs> so in France when you get a coffee, they're usually in like little um, cups about that yeah. big because they used to have an espresso. Yeah, so so I, when you ask for a coffee, you either got to ask for, is it a long coffee? Some, yeah, a long coffee, I think. Or you've just got to say a coffee with like yeah. 50 so CL I did say, or I want a cafe au lait. I said, but is it quite a big one? And he says, yeah, it's quite a big one. So that's what they class as a big coffee. And I've only had one mouthful out of that. However. Um, so make sure you do ask for like a really tall coffee. If you do go to Starbucks, they're the same as they are worldwide. Yeah. So tall, grande and whatever. Doritos and salsa with, with uh, a cheese dip. With bacon bits. Ooh, Let me beautiful. Try this one. Mm, it's a and a pepperoni pizza. Perfecto. Bonjour. Very nice, all that was very nice. How come I've ended up with rubbish? Oh. I want to lie down now and stuff. So, um, I don't know how much that's going to cost, but ever since we've been in Paris, and Spain, and Paris, and Spain, We've used our curve cards, we both ordered one. So you get on the free card, you get 500 pounds worth of spend a month in free, fo free, free foreign currency exchange, which I think you can use Monday to Friday in Europe. It's Monday to Saturday in, Monday to Sunday in Europe, but in America it's Monday to Friday. Um, you basically get a maximum of 500 pounds a month to spend. I've used mine for the cruise, Lee's now using his allowance. So it's definitely worth it if you've not got a travel card because it just literally bypasses your... How did I explain it on the vlog when we explained it? It's like a firewall card, so if you use it, it just passes the charges on in, in, in sterling to your UK credit card. So while we've been traveling, we've been earning Virgin points. We would normally have um, accrued a, uh, a non-sterling fee, fee per transaction. So it's, it's free and it's really good. So if you've just joined us and you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video that we did um, a couple of weeks back on uh, how we go to Florida so much. Missy, Missy. Right, so all that was 28.70 and that included two euros 30 discounts for annual pass. Only off the food though, not the drink. So I don't know, I'm bad. a big massive beer, cafe, uh, coffee, a pizza and some nachos, 28.70. Right, we're gonna have a mooch now around the rest of Disney right, Village. Disney Village and then we're gonna go in Disneyland Park. Right, we're just uh, passing the New York um, New style York sandwiches and they've got some 30th celebration treats. So they've got a uh, Ben Air, got my eye on that. Um, celebration sandwich with smoked salmon. They've also got the Mickey ice cream bar, which looks like the Mickey premium bars. And look at that, a Di Disney delicious mug cake. Just kind of a little uh, mooch in Disney fashion. I like that t-shirt and I think it'd suit Nick a lot. Ooh. I knew you'd like that. Oh. It's the 30th, it's the 30th it one away. as well, look, it's a 1992 Euro Disney. Um, let's see how much, 26 euros? Not bad at all. Ooh, well, I do like that. Had a ball hoodie. Yeah, you That's did. definitely on my list yeah. to... Um... You haven't brought your Disney hoodie, have you? No. Hmm. No, no, what? no. Get off the floor, get off the floor. Oh, oh I did it. 
were saying earlier, what's new at Disneyland um, Paris? So that last time we were here was like bobsleighs, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so that obviously changes so for season. That's changed, and the um, Paramagic. We think that's a different colour because last time we were here, it was, pink it was different. Shirt. That's a very dark blue. That's the yeah. uh, Disneyland um, 30th colours, isn't it? I think so, yeah. And Cafe Mickey is still close. I don't know whether that's going to be her. What a waste of space. And what were the point in painting it last year? Right, so we've had a little mooch on Disney Village. We're now going to head into Disneyland Park. We've not actually looked up any wait times or anything yet. Nick's just going to do so now. It doesn't seem busy here, though. No? We're going to, uh, we're fancy going on Phantom Manor, one of our favourites. This bit's new since we last came. It was all boarded off here. You couldn't see Walt Disney Studios. Well, part of it still is, look. Yeah, a little bit there, but you now you can go straight into Walt Disney Studios. And now this bit's boarded off. So, no, uh, that was actually there because there's, a men there's an entrance around here that says cast members, which goes around the corner. Okay. So the only thing that I can visibly see that they've done here is put some plant pots in. Nice. And there she is, the Disneyland um, Paris Hotel. Which is still closed. Still closed for refurbishment. I don't think there's any uh, indication yet when that is going to be open again. What doesn't make sense is, is that obviously they're not going to refurbish it all simultaneously. Why don't they just do like one section and then they fire it and open it on reduced capacity? Why don't you phone them and ask? I'll make it my next priority. Like, there's the castle. Call it what you like. It's a hotel though, it's not a castle. So uh, come on, let's get inside. Right, so the main entrance is closed off at the moment. That's where we used to go. Um, so we'll go around here actually. Well, yeah. So the main entrance, we never used anyway. We just go to the annual pass entrance. Yeah. So just as we were walking past, I noticed that three rooms are open. One there, one there, one there, and one over there actually. So they're obviously refurbishing the bedroom. Actually, you can actually see they're redoing the roof there. They're changing all the tiles on the roof. Well, you just pose in there for a selfie. What a tit. Don't forget to do your pass reservations, just like you have to in Florida. You have to here at France as well, so they check it here before you actually go through the uh, turnstiles there. They'll either scan your card or you can just show them the reservation on the app and they'll just let you in. What are you going through this one for? It makes no difference. I just feel like I need to because we, we, we can, you know what I mean? We've never had a problem getting in to be able to decide to go into an annual pass queue anyway, but we just like to use it. Thank you. That's what greets you at the moment with the 30th. Last time it was all uh, done up for Christmas, we were here. Ready to go in? Yeah, I think I prefer the Christmas one, don't you? Yeah, the Christmas one's nice. With the baubles, because there were so many colours. Choo choo! We were just saying, we, like, Lee was like, oh, the train's running, but this is actually the only place where we've ever done the train. Well, we've done it in Florida a long time ago. Years and years and years ago. Characters up here? No, I was just saying to Nick that I absolutely love how chilled and relaxing Disneyland Paris is. I mean, this is a Sunday, yeah, and it's just, you can just walk anywhere and- Even there's... in the past though, when we've been on a weekend, yeah, it's been absolutely rammed, hasn't it? And yeah. even today, like, middle of the summer, well, not middle of the summer, but well, you'd expect it to be busier than this. It's a beautiful this. day, and it's just, I love it. I love how relaxed it is. Oh, is the dragon open yet? Oh, the I'm not sure, actually. Look that up. Right, here we go. Here we go. Here's the castle reveal. There it it's is. Not a it's a nice Parisian sort of chateau castle, isn't it? Here. Do you know what's weird? What's weird? The fact that two months ago we were in Bath, in universe in um, Florida. Florida, having kaleidoscopes, slushies. Yeah, but it, and it, yet here it's a merch shop. Yeah. Right. I'm on the lookout for thirtieth snacks. I'm not that hungry yet, but I just want to know what's available for thirtieth snacks. Um, so we'll have a look at the delicatessen. Croc Monsieur. Walt's restaurant is open. That's the first time we've seen it open here. Right, here's the 30th celebration menu uh, at the delicatessen. I, I, I'm just having to check the menu to see if they have the Croc Monsieur's on it. Croc Monsieur. Well, there's a, there's a vegan cooking in, if, if, you, if they haven't got that. Good news, they have Croc Monsieur's. We can see them just there. It's not on the menu board outside and it's not on the app. But if they hadn't have got that, it would have ruined the trip. Just checking out some of the snacks. 
that Bernays for the 30th is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. There's what me. Bernays? Bernays, whatever you call it. Bernays. So it looks like it's going to be tiny, but it's actually rather big. What about that? The Madeleine de 30. I have not seen that yet. Might wow. be around here. Oh my god, they're so big those Puts Bernays. me off the fact that it's got chocolate in it. I'm not a chocolate fan. Um, is, oh, I can't find that one. I don't think they've got them, to be honest. Yeah, that oh, does yeah. look delicious. I think I'm going to try one of them. Not yet, but later. Right, Phantom Man has reopened. Wait time, five minutes. So we're walking through Frontier and we're going to head there first. This is going to be our first ride of this trip. One of my favourite rides. I know it's kind of the done to death by anybody that comes to Disney, but I do love it. I just love the theming of Phantom Manor. This is new. offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. Par ailleurs, il n'y a ni porte ni fenêtre. Phantom Manor, it's one of my favourites. That was weird because because we've been to Florida so recent and the last time we came to Disneyland Paris we hadn't been to Florida for so long. I spotted in there so many differences. Well, basically the whole thing was completely different but yet in my mind when we came in sort of September, August and um, November last year, it, was almost it felt like Florida but it's actually nothing like Florida at all. Don't compare. It's it, well, you're going to compare no matter what, if people say so. It is good, I it's love It's a completely that. different ride. You've I love got, the end bit where you go through the town, like you do in Florida, but here it's so much It's a so graveyard more, in Florida. It's so much more vibrant and colourful, and I just love that ride. It's completely different. I'm, I'm literally, like, we're, the whole time we were going around that, I was saying to Lee, that table didn't move in Florida. This wasn't here. This is a different scene. That's a different scene. Right from the very beginning, even when you went in and you loaded into the carriages, I was like, is this new? Quack, 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 couple of Disney ducks. Quack, 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 quack. Oh. And Thunder Mountain. We're just saying the price of snacks is a lot more reasonable here. Look at that. Uh, Six euros eighty for a hot drink and a crepe with Nutella or sugar. That in Florida would be ten dollars. Yeah. Now we just actually priced up the Mickey um, premium bar. It's not premium here. bars. It's one pound forty-one cheaper. Converting all the currencies between euros and dollars back to pounds it's one pound 41 cheaper for the same thing here right so we're just heading round to uh, skull rock i think it's called um we're going to head on to paris of the caribbean we're saving all the big ticket rides for tomorrow this is just like a kill time day we we're just saying a bonus, that the day, a nice bonus day but the ship on the right hand side there is still not open yet for you to go and explore it but um, as you can see all masks have been lifted all restrictions have been lifted now but some things are still not open 35 minute wait for uh, Pirates.
that was definitely longer than 35 minutes. 55 maybe. And in traditional Disney fashion, my feet are bleeding, killing That's me now. Good. I could do with a Mickey premium by now. I could do with a, uh, a snack. I'm going to say a snack. Uh, yeah, a, a nap. Absolutely gutted. <laughs> I'm jumping for joy. Small world is closed for refurbishment. Fingers crossed forever. It's ice cream time. I've got myself a candy floss and salted caramel. Lee's got a... Well, he changed his mind four times. What did you get? I got a vanilla brownie and chocolate. Nutty and chocolate. Yeah. experienced our first full Disneyland Paris parade. I'm still giddy. That <laughs> was, was different. Good. That was so different to the way they do things in Florida. I loved the music and there were a lot of cast interaction and they were like grabbing, were grabbing people up to dance. Yeah, grabbing people from the audience to go and dance with them and stuff like that. And, and then, some of the cast members were flirting with some of the other <laughs> guys, weren't they? And it was like, it you was can so tell you're in French. It was really fun and, and the music was really good, like really poppy, wasn't it? The bit that I liked at the end is that when the last float had gone, the crowds followed it and they were all kind of like clapping, synchronized and, dancing, yeah. doing that. And then they followed it right up to the gate where it went in. Yeah. And then they all went in and then it kind of ended. It was good that the weather has been perfect for us today. It's Florida weather. Yeah. <laughs> um, Everything's so, going to compare to no, Florida. Actually, it's just a warm day in France. Uh, so now we're off back to the car and then heading towards the Airbnb. Lee doesn't want to leave. Come on. Right, we're at the Airbnb. We've been here for a few hours. Yes, Nick's just putting his shots back on. We're just napping. <laughs> uh, He's been napping on the bed. Um, so it's got a little bit dark now, so I've put all the lights on. I'm going to show you around the Airbnb. And B. This is the kitchen. Yes, that's what Nick looks like at the moment. He's just been asleep. Trying to. Um, so we've got a lovely kitchen here and look what it's got. It's here got another go. Nespresso. We both know how this, pot's gonna, this is going to start. And look at all those pods. I apologise to anybody who does not have an Nespresso, you'll have one by the end. So there we go. And it's got some, um, I presume that's sugar, tea. I don't know what that is. Um, and um, this is the kitchen. Microwave. Cupboards. Little nice work area for me there. Set up my laptop. Huge kitchen workshop. Yeah. Um, it is just like a bed sit, so it's just one room. Uh, there's the bed. And a uh, little uh, living area there with a um, TV, some cabinets up there. And uh, then through here, it's got it's a strange layout because it's a really big hall. And they could have they could have used more. Yeah, they could have used this for um, putting a sofa in. Well, yeah, but. To be fair, it has got two huge um, wardrobes, but then there's all this area which is just wasted. I mean, that could have been, I know, I know I'm sort of redesigning the apartment, that could have been against that wall there, and then you would have had all this space for a sofa and a more religious area, but anyway. Why don't you like to be done? <laughs> um, this is the bathroom, which is huge. They could have used some more of this space, but I mean, it's a fantastic bathroom. Massive, little dryer there. Oh, there's a washer as well. 
Oh, the washer as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it. Obviously quite easy to show you around. No. Oh, no, actually there's a balcony as well. Oh, is that? So I'll show you on the balcony. Out here. It's really it's massive. So that's the view. This is the balcony. Two doors um, out into the balcony. Um, Disneyland Paris, I think, is just over there. It's about a 10 minute drive, if that. And um, down in that area, it looks like there's like a, a big quad with lots of bars and restaurants. So I think we're going to go down there and have something to eat tonight because we have um, all day tomorrow in Disney, so. And the day after. Mommy. Thanks, trying to plug. Ooh. These lights in, coloured lights, which should look nice. If I can get the lamp plug in. There you go. There we go. Coloured yeah. lights. So get your thing ready, you, I'm and ready. we'll go down there for some food. So yes, we have two more full days in Disney, which is why we're not going back in tonight. Um, so tomorrow we'll probably do Disneyland Park again. Then maybe. In fact, while we're having a meal tonight, I'm going to check out reservations, see if we can get a Disney dining. Some, somewhere and then we'll probably go to Newport Bay and uh, have a chill in the captain's quarters and then the day after we'll check out Walt Disney Studios which will take about 20 minutes. Are you ready? I'm hungry. I am yeah. So the apartment is up there you can see the um, coloured lights so just come down and there is a gate just here to get to all the restaurants. And we're back. Over the main road over if you didn't Valde hear Nick, Europe we're parked center. on the road just over there. There's loads of car park spaces. And Valde Europe Shopping Centre is literally just over there. Like, literally walking. And this is where all the um, restaurants are. So there's Otakos there. That's open. Japanese. This is Japanese? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's an Italian restaurant there, but that looks to be closed, I think. And Nick really fancied that, but... Uh, there looks to be loads more down here. Right, so we've come into the brasserie. Um, all the menus in French, but we used good old Google Translate. And um, I um, it's just... It's called Le Circle. Excuse me? La Circle. Oh, Le Circle. Le Circle, yeah. Le Circle Brasserie. Yes. Um, it's like a fish and steakhouse. It's just um, literally across the road. Well, it's a fish and steakhouse, but I've just ordered a vegan, a vegan meal. Have you? I'm having a vegan tart with salad and fries. Somebody's a tart. Um, I've ordered a steak. I'm hoping that she understood me and she, I'm going to get medium well. Because she understood the medium, but I'm not sure about the well bit, so nice. we'll find out. Right, the food has arrived and um, the lights are going crazy on this camera. Again, like they do on the ship. Um, so I have a vegan tart, which looks like a, 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 a crisp bread thing um, but it's it's not <laughs> uh, there's my fries that's why they call them pom fritters you know the crisps yeah oh that's yeah, the yeah they're really thin nice crisps aren't they and that steak looks amazing that Nick's got just trying to get these out oh, right? God, you get so much you get so many fries they're not called french fries here they're just fries pom fritters right so that was the most amazing plate of pom fritters I've ever had in my life <laughs> and now I know why the crisps are called that because they looked exactly the same like super thin nice. french fries my vegan tart wasn't anything like I imagined it was going to be but it was nice it, it was looked really like nice. it looked like a, uh, a rice cracker crisp, rice cake but it was like bird like seed to me really nice. so we were just looking at the uh, using google translate looking at the menu for dessert the top item said two cabbages which we have no idea. I think it was something to do with I think coffee. It was two, two, uh, a coffee and two chocolates. Yeah, and it came up with two cabbages. Uh, and then the bit at the bottom near the profiterole said schoolgirl kinder. We went with the profiterole to quite say. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's bigger than I expected. That's two profiteroles, or uh, duo profiteroles. And uh, Nick's got one to go. So well. glad we didn't get a trio. <laughs> we could have shared. They're not like profiteroles, they're like chocks buns. Yeah, do you know well, what I mean? Wow. Well. Just walking back to the uh, apartment and I just spotted those. Two cows on balconies. Not must sure. Be a, must be a thing in France. Mm. Those profiteroles were amazing. <laughs> they were huge. They were like huge. chocks buns, like elephant's feet. Can I remember years yeah. ago they used to have elephant's feet. And yeah. Basically, that's what a profiterole is, yeah, an elephant's it was, foot. It was really nice. Comment so, below if you remember what an elephant's foot is. I imagine it's just a UK thing, I imagine. A lot of people will probably know. I don't think yeah. it's like a northern like thing. A I UK think it's, thing, yeah. So. Comment below if you're a vegan, because I just had a vegan meal. Just so we can ban you. <laughs>
he's, he's just uh, <laughs> likes to take a joke. Um, <clears throat> I was vegetarian for a year. I could I quite easily go vegan as well. Tell him how you cracked on a um, kebab once after a, a night out at a um, nightclub. Nightclub. So anyway, I'm going to finish the vlog. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, and drop us a comment below. I'm just uh, looking up the gate code to get back in. The gate code, he said then. Um, what did you think I said? Tomorrow, we are going back into Disneyland Park, and we're going to have a look, see if we can get some kind of meal somewhere. I don't know where in Disney. And uh, then the day after, we'll probably do Walt Disney Studios. So um, we'll see you on the next vlog for some Disney. Bye.